That is your rush block. It is one of the top stories on 11 Alive right now. Stinging sea lice popping up on a beach in Florida. So right now there are purple warning flags all over Pensacola Beach. Yes, people are getting stung and yes, people are super freaked out by this. But experts tell us the so-called lice they're actually tiny baby jellyfish. The larva can cause an itchy ew, an itchy rash that lasts for hours. There it is right now. Ooh, Liza, I'm like cringing over here. I know Crash has had experience with it, but a lot of people are talking about this as well. They are, and I'm itching as we're talking about it too. <laughs> a lot of people saying that they've never heard of it, and then we have a whole other group that frequents the Florida area beaches, and they say they have come into contact with these pesky little boogers, is I believe what one person called it. <laughs> Misty saying, my sister, daughter, and I all got stung by those unseen little eye creatures. She said it stung for a few hours and she got the red whelps on us, but they did survive. Connie shared a photo. We're not going to get too close up on that one. A lot of yucks and grosses this morning. And also people saying this is every year in Florida and saying she had sea lice before when she lived in Florida. And after that, she learned to look at those lifeguard warnings. She said it wasn't too bad. It was mainly itchy. And that's what experts say as well, that they call it lice for a reason, not sea hornets or something were so mainly uncomfortable and experts say it does tend to happen every year as those waters tend to warm guys I added this to my Facebook page yesterday Keith McDonald Charles chiming in saying I hate when that happens I prefer land lice oh <laughs> so someone who so someone who's had uh, who's experienced sea lice yeah have you ever had uh, lice uh, had hair lice before? no never had the hair lice uh -huh. so I remember the pencil through the hair every year yeah. when I had hair uh -huh. uh, but yeah but growing up in South Florida whenever there were we used to find out that whenever there was too much seaweed in uh -huh. the water that's when we would tend to get it and of course I'm the smallest of five so all the big brothers would we would throw seaweed at each oh. other and then I'd get it all over me next thing you know you're breaking out in the rash here comes mom with the cotton balls and the calamine lotion oh, okay and you're spending time off the beach so for so urine didn't work for that uh, no no, no, none of my brothers uh, tried that particular <laughs> remedy, and I'm glad they didn't. Oh, my God. In Jacksonville, Florida, I remember being at a restaurant on the beach, and there are there's a lot of sand underneath us. And so it wasn't sea lice, but it was like, uh, like sand. The little flies, sand flies. Oh, my oh. gosh. Yep. got eaten up all over my thighs, all yeah. over my... And that was my first experience, and I never went back to a beach restaurant because of it. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. So watch out when you're at the beach. To read more about sea lice, folks, we want you to go to 11alive.com and look for this story. Apparently, uh, these little critters pop up more than you know, and I know a lot of us visit the beach, so talk about it there. And, of course, use our hashtag MorningRushATL.